What's up guys? So we had a pretty good weekend, ran straight through. Uh, I stopped yesterday night, not yesterday night, Saturday night at the house. Spent uh, about 14 hours, no 16 hours, about 16 hours at home. Uh, basically left, I was closer to 18 hours. I left about two o'clock yesterday afternoon. Uh, got to delivery last night, nine o'clock. Before I left, um, my son and my daughters, they helped me. I threw another tarp on uh, just to help protect that a little bit better. Uh, same size as the one that was already on there. I just overlapped them so it was covering front and back a lot better. Uh, I didn't really have to worry about it. There was no water getting in there with all the plastic and the saran wrap that was on it plastic wrap, whatever the heck you want to call it. Um, but we just did it for Haas. And then I changed the license plate light. Um, it was, perfect. I'll show you guys real quick. Completely corroded like it was the first time uh, that it went bad. And basically it's because of all the, um, let's see if I can show you from here. All right, wires go up in there. So there's a ton of sand that gets up on top. I think you can actually... Yeah, there's a bunch of sand that falls down into this hole here. Um, so it ends up corroding the wires. And uh, I guess from, from it getting all wet and sandy and everything in there, it ends up... Um, I'm sure it's some type of electrolysis or something along them lines where it, it, it turns it all green, pretty much destroys the metal on it, and uh, it ends up just corroding apart. Uh, so what I did yesterday is this is actually now an LED light uh, that's wired directly in. So this is from the first splice that I did. Um, and then yesterday, yeah, these, these two are from the first place I did to put on the new wire because the end was gone. And then this is the one that I did yesterday, um, putting on this LED one. So now it's, now it should be good because it's all watertight and it shouldn't be able to, uh, cause that to swallow up. Uh, should, should prevent the wires from corroding corroding on this light so we'll see what happens see how long it lasts it's nice and bright good LED light so shouldn't have any more problems with that doing steer tires are doing nice so going down the road I still have like a little Kind of like a little wobble um but I, I really have a feeling that's to do with the steers and i mean this it's it's going a lot straighter down the road i'm not holding it really tight to uh stay stay in my lane um i have a feeling with the uh, uneven tread and stuff like that on the drives. It's it's still throwing the, the steering off a little bit As soon as I get them drives done I'm going to have them do an, uh, another alignment make sure everything's still good and then uh, They go start looking into doing shocks again brakes um, But I got to get the clutch done first I'm I, I don't want to I want to get that done sooner than later so my first plan is to get the tires and then then get the clutch I got the money that I can do the clutch um, so if, if, it, if it absolutely comes down to it where I need the clutch tomorrow I can just pull it into a shop and get it done uh, but I'm trying not to touch that that money so if if I can put more money in to get the drives done and then put more money in, then go get the clutch done, then that's the way that I plan on doing it. 
Uh, so if the clutch goes before that, then it goes, and uh, it's going to cost me a little bit more money because I'll probably have to get it towed at that point if I can't get it, if I can't, um, if I can't float it in. Uh, I know, I know from blowing a clutch once before, it's extremely hard. Uh, makes it a, even with with having a blown clutch, it makes it extremely hard to shift the, the transmission. Um, not using the clutch, just regular floating. It's still for some reason it, it gets a lot harder. At least the one time that the clutch blew on me back when I was with Western Express, it made it a lot harder to shift. I don't know if that was a fluke or not. I've driven around with blown clutches before. Um, you know, not 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 in a truck and just regular cars, uh, and the shift and the floating never never changed. Um, from having the clutch and not using the clutch, it never changed. So that might have been a fluke that one time with the truck. I don't know, but it, you know, I'll do my best to float it into the shop. Um. Oh. This makes me extremely happy. <laughs> I was like a little kid yesterday when I seen that light go from yellow to green and I was on my way. Uh, so that's really cool. Anyway, uh, right now we are completely done with this load. I've been sitting here for about half an hour pondering what I'm going to do. So, what I, I would prefer to do is take a load of mulch or a load of shingles going back over to Syracuse or Rochester. Um, but it doesn't seem like any of those loads are available. Uh, I don't think we're doing mulch going back over to Syracuse anymore. I think uh, they switched everything up. I think the mulch out of North, um, uh, whatever the heck the name of that town is there in Connecticut, I think they're only delivering Mass, Rhode Island, uh, Lower New York. Uh, all the loads are paying like four or five hundred bucks. Um, they did used to go over to Syracuse, but now there's a location in Rochester, which is paying the same amount of money doing Rochester, Buffalo, Syracuse, um, and it's the same exact company. So they're cutting their they're cutting their distance, um, which is probably worse for them because I know there's still guys over there pulling that stuff, but I, I'm not doing no four hundred four hundred dollar loads. Uh, unless I can knock out multiple loads in a day, um, I just don't see that, that happening. So right now, my wife is getting ready to go down to Pennsylvania for the week um, to spend time with her family, her sister and stuff. And my son doesn't want to go. He's, he's a little older than everybody else. So I think I'm going to head straight home from here pick him up and my dog up actually going to take off tomorrow and then leave back out Wednesday again um, and that's mostly because as of right now I only have 17 and a half hours left on my 70 so I'm only going to get one load in anyway and then I, I, I'm going to need a 34 or I'm going to have to wait day and a half to, to get my hours back anyway so uh, restart or wait for my hours to come back it's it's either one um, I don't get any hours back at midnight tonight 
and then I I get three hours back on Wednesday and then eight hours back on Thursday so it's just better off to take off the rest of today and tomorrow um, plus I get my dog a bath I can get buddy a bath and uh, get my son ready to go so that's it we're gonna head to the house um, Get the trailer dropped and go home.